uh, Mr. Sachin Goyal, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 34 in Civil Engineering Branch in GATE 2022. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Sachin, well done. Uh, you tell us uh, what type of coaching program that you have availed from our Ace Engineering Academy. Sir, actually, I took their deep learn course while preparing for the GATE 2021. Deep learn. Deep learn means recorded. We have two types. The recorded classes are there and then online live class also there. Which one you have taken? No, sir, I took the recorded lecture. Recorded sir. classes. Right. Very yes, good. Uh, again, we have different uh, subscriptions. Six months subscription is there. One, one year subscription is there. So which subscription you have taken? Sir, I took one year subscription, sir. So one year subscription you have taken. Our deep learn recorded classes of this uh, gate exam, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Very good, uh, Sachin. I once again congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Please tell us uh, how ES Academy that the deep learn recorded classes helped you in molding your preparation for gate exam and cracking the gate exam with such a good rank. Yes, sir. Actually, sir, before taking this course, my concepts were not that clear, actually. And uh, I was trying to find out uh, like uh, which books, which source I should use. And uh, since uh, there was the first lockdown, and so I thought of going for an online course. And this ACE Academy Deep Learn Recorded Lecture course was the only available course at that time. So I took that course and uh, the concepts, all the concepts by the faculties are covered very well in that course. So actually I got the notes in very concise form and that helped me in revision part also. Okay, good. Uh, uh, Sachin, uh, how many times did you watch this recorded classes yourself? Sir, no, sir. actually, sir, I watched it one times, all the videos. But uh, if later I used to find any doubt or any concept, misclarity, so I can go back, I could go back to the videos anytime, sir. Okay, good. Good, Sachin. And then tell me, uh, at what time you used to watch those recorded classes, any particular time that you have followed? No, sir. Actually, sir, the biggest advantage of these recorded lectures is that you can watch it at your comfort zone, like whenever you feel like, sir, for with me, it was like sometimes I used to watch it at around 5 a.m. After just waking up, I used to watch the lecture. And uh, sometimes it is like in the afternoon. So, so it is not fixed. Like whenever I feel to watch, I used to watch the lectures and made the notes. Okay, very good. Uh, daily, how many hours on an average uh, that uh, you watch these videos? So on an average daily, I used to watch like six to seven hours content. I used to watch. Okay, six to seven hours a daily used to watch them. Yes, sir. And uh, Sachin, uh, how while watching these uh, videos, uh, did you write any notes, anything simultaneously or what? how you used to do that one while watching the video simultaneously? Did you do anything else, notes, etc.? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I used to watch videos and uh, simultaneously I used to prepare my notes. And uh, after that, like the if after explaining a concept, the faculty used to solve problems. So what I used to do simultaneously before solving the faculty, I used to solve the problem. If I get the doubt in that problem, then the faculty clarifies it. And uh, sir, and only those problems I used to write in my notes, those I find difficult. Okay, one more, Sachin. See, many students while watching this video, so they take speeds so 1.5, 1.75, two times. Yes, sir, like yes, that. Sir. So watching at a high speed, writing notes again may be difficult. How you could uh, manage? No, sir. Actually, sir, like in some videos, if the content is getting very slow, like you feel you are comfortable in this topic, you don't need it. So you can go it at a little bit higher pace. So I used to do that. Like uh, normally I used to watch it as, I used to watch the videos at 1.5, sir. And if I have this some difficult topic, then I used to watch it at one only, sir. Okay, that's fine, Sachin. While watching at 1.5 speed, uh, uh, how could read the notes also simultaneously? That's what I'm asking. No, no, sir. It would like uh, if I am watching it 1.5, so I'm making the notes also, sir. It is not getting that fast. It is okay, like good. I'm able to do it, then only I'm doing it. Otherwise, I will go it with one. Okay, right. I understand that. Oh, even though you are watching at 1.5, that type of speed, you are comfortable in preparing some short notes simultaneously. Yeah, 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 sir. Otherwise, so there is no point what, if we are not writing. 
what points you used to write there in the notes what points the, whatever the pink thing that faculty is writing on the board mm so that i used to write on my notes and uh, after that if so faculty has spoken something that uh, i found is more important i used to write that in my notes and uh, some problems those i found difficult i used to write them in my notes okay how you have done the revision work sir revision for the revision actually sir i made the my notes this full notes only very concise manner so i didn't make any short notes i used to revise these notes on a like not a daily basis but in a weekly basis i used to revise all these notes so okay. and i and i revised all the notes uh, these many number of times so i didn't take much of the time in revising the notes okay one more sachin you said uh, daily used to watch uh, sorry daily used to watch 6 uh, to 7 hours of time this videos yes, yes, did you watch only one particular subject otherwise more than one subject Uh, so actually sir i started like two subjects together so i was doing it two three subjects together sir yes good so daily two hours one subject two hours one subject like that right uh, yes sir like that we Appras- can distribute approximately yes sir okay right right uh, so for the revision purpose you should go through your notes and all notes yes sir okay what about this previous year's question bank did you solve the previous year's question bank Yes, sir. I solved the previous year question bank, sir. At least when twice, you, sir. I when solved. You used to do that question bank solving, sir. After I have attended the lecture, mm-hmm. I have prepared my notes, and after solving the material that I have bought from the coaching, then I used to go to this previous year problem, sir. Okay, good. Right. Uh, I think you are, you have also uh, availed our uh, uh, yes online test series, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So, did you attend all the almost all the exams? It's not all the exams, but seventy uh, percent I did, Good. sir. So okay, then fine. So in this test series also, we have some uh, what you call uh, small tests, like a topic-wise tests are there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tests are there. Full-length tests also there. So how could you synchronize this uh, test along with your preparation? Like, sir, if we have the syllabus, like for each test, so I used to check it. Like if I am reading a subject, and if I have covered some topics and if i can give the test like that topic like that subject consists the sorry that test consists that syllabus of that topic i used to write two tests and uh, i do used to do that like right right like if i completed the syllabus i used to write the test and so like this i used to do for multi multi subject wise test and subject wise and topic wise test okay sachin i understand sachin Uh, Sachin, can you tell us uh, about your educational background and when did you pass out your BTEC? Sir, I have completed my BTEC in civil engineering from NIT Varangal in 2021, sir. 2021, right? Yes. So then you tell us uh, when did you start this preparation for GATE exam seriously? Sir, seriously, I started when I was in third year and second semester, sir. It was March 2020, sir. March 2020, when you are in the Third year, third year, second, second semester. semester. You started, yes, right? Sir. Then you would have given the gate examination in your final year also, two thousand twenty-one. Yes, sir. yes, sir. I wrote gate twenty twenty-one, sir. What was your rank during that time, if you don't mind? Yes, sir. My rank was seven zero seven. Seven hundred seven last time, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Okay. Sir. Then you are the right person to tell us uh, what mistakes that you did earlier and what modifications you have carried out in this uh, last year preparation. So. By modifying your preparation style or something or a style of a preparation, what it may be, so what um, brought you to this thirty fourth rank? Yes, sir. Actually, sir, I was covering the content in twenty twenty one. I covered the content very well, but sir, I didn't work on the execution part. Like uh, I used, I didn't work on my silly mistakes, and uh, I didn't get much time to revise. and so and my concept were not that strong because i was doing many things together i had college classes too so so in the next attempt i improved my concept with the same coaching notes only sir like i didn't take any coaching in the next year i prepared myself with those notes only and but i improved my concept on myself and uh, i revised a lot and i practiced more and uh, most importantly i worked on the education part because i was doing silly mistakes earlier so later i used 
some approach to cover the silly mistakes and uh, i got this rank sir uh, let us summarize like this right uh, uh, so i mean you focus more on your uh, concepts clarity that is one thing you said and yes, you sir. give yes. some practice of the question bank and you try to avoid those uh, doing that uh, silly mistakes and all silly mistakes and all right and these points have brought you to this uh, 34th rank uh, compared to last year 700 rank is it right yes sir. yes sir okay right uh, uh, good uh, sachin uh, where are you from sir i am from a town that is near to the city gwalior in madhya pradesh okay gwalior right right okay fine uh, sachin what uh, advice can you give to your juniors who want to crack this gate examination uh, from let us say from the third year or final year onwards so if they start preparation from third year fourth year onwards so what uh, things that they have to follow in their preparation can you please advise something for the for your juniors yes sir. so first of all i would say so gate is an aptitude based exam so not in the there's aptitude 15 marks only but we have some technical part also so in that also your approach should be in a aptitude manner only and uh, like you should take a coaching and you should make the notes but uh, always have a very clarity like about the concepts like if you if you are solving one question so you should have clarity of the concepts and uh, you should have that aptitude so that you can solve it easily and you can get the right answer in your very first attempt so that you should do and you should analyze like every time you are taking the coaching in the whole year you should analyze at every point where my preparation is going like uh, where i am lagging where i am not lagging so that you should analyze on time and uh, you should write the test series and use the test series to check your mistakes where your concepts are not strong where you are doing the silly mistakes so these things you should check and uh, revise more like don't go behind the questions like many people go behind many questions don't go behind the many questions but solve questions those are giving you the concepts and if you and if you less solve less questions that also going to help you in the exam so have faith in yourself apne or sir i would say ke apna strategy pe kaam kijiye apne concept pe kaam kijiye and at the end you will get the result okay one thing one good point you raised mr sachin don't think of the quantity of the question right the quality yes, sir, yes, is sir. very important there is it it yes sir right very good so what is that uh, ideal time to start the gate preparation when they are in the second year or third year what do you say sir now the final year otherwise yes no sir now the third year people are also writing the gate so oh, i would say in the first year when we enter the college we should explore the thing like uh, what are the possibilities what are the different possibilities in their branch or if they can go to another branch and if they have made their mind to write the gate exam so i would say second year when the second year ends like the summer break so in that summer break they should start their preparation and so that and they can complete the syllabus whatever they have covered in the second year or the mathematics aptitude part they can cover so i think that is the best time for the third year people so that okay, they will more. get a feel okay right yes, right sir. okay that's fine so you mean to say that uh, best time is uh, after completion of second year they should start the preparation that's what yes is. sir yes okay yes, right sir. and one more point i want to ask you sachin you were mentioning earlier that uh, coaching is beneficial yes sir coaching is beneficial sir how it is beneficial can't to prepare on your own also if you are from a good iit good nit can't no, to prepare sir, on you your own can, you can prepare on your own but uh, like uh, you don't have the content actually like you do not know exactly what you have to read in which topic how much depth is needed how much depth is not needed so if you are like if you do not have any financial problem you can go for the coaching coaching will provide you everything in your notes so that you won't have to wander here and there for the content content will be with you you just focus on the concept you can just focus on the concepts and the practice right okay so, so coaching will make your work easy basically sir right again here coaching means we have right different modes there one is a offline coaching and other one is the coaching what you took yourself that is a yes, yes deep learning recorded uh, recorded class yes sir yes sir and one more also that is the online live class also there yes sir so uh, tell your experience with regard to our yes deep learning recorded classes 
sir recording classes are good because live classes sir at my place there is internet problem sir i do not have those internet facility so sir i couldn't attend the live classes so that is why i chose to record it classes because like in the morning time the internet is so i used to download those videos in the morning time and in the afternoon i used to watch those videos and sir in the recorded lecture there is one thing if you are watching one hour content you are getting actually the content of one hour but it is not happening in the live class like a lot of time is wasting in those mm -hmm. so that is why i would say a recorded lecture course is preferable if you have the doubt discussing facility very well okay but one thing even though the internet also not uh, uh, good in your area in you even in our live classes also uh, to help those type of students uh, uh, whatever the live class uh, that occurs there some portion of the recorded version also we are making available for students for some amount of time yes sir that is good thing if you couldn't attend or you didn't understand anything you can go back to the videos yes, at yes. least twice or thrice we can watch those videos and in fact we are providing that uh, pdf of the running notes also to the students after yes, the completion sir. of the class so that they can revise it so so in your case this recorded class were very useful for you yes sir i liked the course sir I, this as academy deep learn course recorded lecture one sir i liked it very much okay very good uh, well said mr sachin right uh, with this uh, 34th rank are you going to try for any psc job otherwise uh, thinking of uh, joining some mtech in premier college no sir sir actually my prime motto was to join a psu sir right very good uh, i think um, sachin you will definitely get some good psu job and uh, we once again congratulate you and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors thank you sir thank you very god, much god bless you sachin god bless you thank you sir